definitely set at 54 and the line has LSU minus 9.5 so particularly close game for SEC, uh, SEC West divisional opponents and you know LSU is currently averaging 504 total, 540 total yards compared to uh, Mississippi State who's averaging 416 total yards um, LSU is allowing 407 yards per game while Mississippi State is allowing 319 and you know we talked about LSU and they're led by quarterback Jaden Daniels who was a preseason Heisman candidate currently has 615 yards, 6 touchdowns, one, uh, 1 interception um, their leading running back Diggs has 15 carries, 115 yards for a touchdown and Brian Thomas Jr. the receiver as uh, a leading receiver for LSU with 13 receptions, uh, 220 yards, and, uh, and three touchdowns. And, you know, I, uh, you know, this is a Mississippi State team, Mississippi State team that, um, the struggles throwing the ball and, you know, they, they tend to rely heavily on the run and, you know, they have, you know, they're coming off an overtime victory against Arizona, where they won thirty-one to twenty-four, and it was not particularly a good sign to see them struggle against Ari- to see them struggle against Arizona. Um, and the key to this victory, the key to victory for Mississippi State, will be for them to establish the run and to um, to get into play action passing so to open up the passing game. We see this is an LSU team. Uh, that 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 struggles in the secondary because they're allowing 258 yards per game in the air. So if they if Mississippi State can establish a run in order to open the passing game, that will bode well for their success, and it will be interesting to see what Mississippi uh, decides to commit to in this game. And if LSU can limit turnovers, and and if they can, you know, and if they can. You know, attack once again. This the mystery Mississippi State because Mississippi State also has a weak secondary. Then, you know, it will bode well for them. It'll be be successful for them. But I do have LSU winning this game, and I believe LSU will be able to pull out this victory. Um, I do believe it's going to be a close game. I think that Mississippi State will cover the spread. You know, I think it's going to be a four point game. I have, um, or sorry, three point game. I have LSU winning this game by a score of. Of 24 to 21, so I do think this game's gonna be a lot closer than people expect it to, expect it to be. Um, but LSU can't afford to lose this game. If I mean, if LSU loses this game to Mississippi State, then their season's, for all intents and purposes, over. Um, but you know, if LSU can use this game to gain to you know, regain more of the confidence that they lost uh, during their Week One loss against Florida State. It'll be well for them moving forward, moving along in the conference play. But um, I do think they're going to win the game. But I do think it's going to be a close game. Like I said, I do have um, I have LSU win this game by score of 24-21. Um, I think LSU is going to, going to do a good job of uh, throwing the deep ball and attacking the secondary of Mississippi State. But I do think they'll struggle on the ground because Mississippi State is only allowing 87 yards. On the um, on the ground, so I think LSU is going to struggle to uh, establish the run, but them committing solely to the pass won't be an issue, especially since they have Jaden Daniels back there at quarterback. So, you know, that's my prediction for um, for this game. And um, let me know what you guys think. Though, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that? Mississippi State, Mississippi State has a chance of pulling off the upset. Do you think that LSU will win in convincing fashion? You know, well, let me know what you guys think about this game. Um, you know, when it comes to these SEC West uh, divisional games, they're, they're always close. Doesn't matter. Ole Miss, Mississippi State, uh, Texas A&M, LSU, Alabama, Tennessee. Or not sorry, Tennessee because they're in the East Division, but. You know, these games are always, always, always close, always close. And I don't think this is going to be any different. But 
Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys see in the comment section. How do you think this game is going to turn out? Um, and guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit the sub hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well, so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. Excuse me. And be sure to subscribe to us on Patreon as well, so you can get access to all of our exclusive content that we post daily. Uh, you can do that by going to patreon.com, uh, clicking on the search bar, and typing in GSMC Sports Network. And if you would like to support our company and our network, you can follow the link in the ticker below. It's streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tips. Tip, sorry. Once again, it's streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. Uh, none of this is possible to, without you guys, the fans. So we're just so grateful for all support and love that you show us and for tuning into our shows on a daily basis. And you know, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the GSMC Baseball Podcast, the GSMC Basketball Podcast, the GSMC Fantasy Football Podcast, and the GSMC NFL Podcast as well. Uh, you know, All of our hosts do an amazing job of providing insight and analysis on the sports that they cover. And they are some of the best in the media business, media, sports media business. So it's an honor to be working alongside them. But with that being said, guys, we'll be back in our next segment uh, to cover the Tennessee and Florida matchup. So be sure to stick around, guys. You're not going to miss it.